Welcome back, Exhaust. For event number three, we have the Michael Jordan of POV Racing, Dead and Doom. <laughs> CV claims a third win in a row, third tournament win, that is, followed by off in second place, the Uber Elite. We have the new and improved Don the Crown. He's in practice hard. And we have a newcomer, Zai TV. Ooh, another wild card, perhaps. Another Very wild exciting. card. I would like to mention we we did interview Dead and Doom one time and asked him what he's feeling less confident about and uh it was the shorter races that he felt like he could be dethroned so this could be it interesting i know uber elite was very very happy about his group being placed in dead and doom's group it's like dead and doom has decided to call himself acceleration shrine changing his name every <laughs> single race last race dominus today acceleration shrine very interesting Mr. Acceleration Shrine, I think is an apt name, given what we've seen in previous races from him, with multiple Acceleration Shrines per race. Definitely. Just not there. So the races are about to start. We have three Shadows and a Ranger. Very common theme so far to have three players playing the same class, opting the same class rotations. One player just going like, hey man, I'm going to change it up. And Done I'm pulling out Ranger first with the chickens. Interesting, pulling out the MTX, going for the extra RNG. And I've just been informed that Rise is actually doing his final run right now. He is what? playing a Marauder, a 538, in the Submerged Passageway. Interesting. See if you can transition to him halfway through our run. Check him out. Some five player spectating action. Thank this you. will be spicy. <laughs> oh, Havoc, you got your work cut out here for you. I man. definitely do. Gonna have to keep an eye out on five players, something I'm not prepared for. Six minute ledge. He's uh, not doing so hot. All right, I'm gonna add Rise QT to my multi Twitch then. Let's do it. <laughs> he does have two quick summers in his run, though. Quick. Multi Twitch doesn't do such a good job at five. I've got five tiny screens here. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Looks like we are off. We are off. D in the, in the top left, Uberly in the top right, Don the Crown in the bottom left, and Zai TV in the bottom right. See if the chickens give Don a little bit of extra RNG here, possibly. Look yeah, at that. Very curious. He already has dudes. the MTX going too. The only player with MTX. Also, that real life MTX as well with that crown. <laughs> I did not even notice that. How did I not notice that? <laughs> it's right <laughs> in my face. How many points do you think that was? 320 points? E easy 320 points. Sounds about right, depending on where he purchased it from. <laughs> Does anyone got anything crazy off Hillock? Not Brutus, Hillock this time. <laughs> like this time. Brutus and uh, Todd Strand would be a little scary. That'd be exciting. That challenge, though. Imagine a race where the zone boss was just randomized between all the bosses in the game. <laughs> Obviously scaled down to the level of the zone, but <laughs> get a level one at Ziri and <laughs> Oh my goodness, that would be insane. <laughs> well, it's I, I love your crazy ideas. Every every time we sit down to do some race commentary, you have some crazy idea. <laughs> hey man, I, I just wanna I just want the game to be crazy. I want the racing to be crazy, so I gotta get <laughs> yeah, stories out there. Eventually Chris will be like, yo, we can do that. And then he's gonna write it down, get it done, throw it out there, and everyone be like pogging away. Looking forward to it. <laughs> One of these days. I like I like the sounds of that. Speaking of crazy, we do have a crazy race planned for late today as well as our last race, do yeah. we not? Yes, it is the wheel race. But, uh, we'll talk about more of that later. But Looking forward to that one. Should be exciting. But so. For now, focusing on the race we're in, on the ground rocking even more MTX. Looks like he might have his full set. He just needs to get some gear to show it off. Straight to Mud Flats for Dead and Doom. I don't think I saw a waypoint from him there, so it looks like probably no Quicksilver for D&D. Yeah, did not catch Uberly. I believe Zai uh, did take the waypoint, so we could see him go back for the, for the Quicksilver Onslaught. Dead and Doom dropping Iron Ring. Very good. We have seen a lot of shadows go for that round. Take a look at the other two shadows. They are still on their dagger setup. D and D already on the wand setup, getting a bit, bit of spell damage there. It's a blue pack on his second row now. So be careful here. Getting a few nice extra kills there. Can pick up all those damage nodes. He's what? got a nice uh, armor evasion chest set up and ready for Brutus later. He's gonna stash that away. Nicely done. So looks like the starting strategy is take this two starting points in shadows. You got the the flat life and flat ES. Keep you a bit safe with such low HP totals. 
Yeah, I like that. Those little flat, uh, those little flat bits of life in ES there make a pretty big difference in these shorter races for sure. Like we talked about in a previous race, that energy shield giving stun avoidance as well. Having a little bit of that helps nicely when running through packs. Yeah, Rai is almost playing CI in that one race. He had like 40 or 50 ES and like only 80 life. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty crazy. <laughs> Dandy already finding the bridge at 319. He might get a sub 4 minute ledge enter here if he keeps up this pace. Same pace by D&D. Ubley did pick up the waypoint though. He's going back for Hellrake. Zai looks like he's not. Gets a coil ring and a chain belt. Does not pick up the chain belt Don saying, hey, I want the Rustic Sash. Don going very low on the bridge gets stuck against a hasted pack of uh, zombies, interestingly. Zombies? Enough. That is something there. I did not I expect you to say. I was expecting sea yeah. witches. <laughs> yeah, it had a rare, rare zombie it looked like, along with a pack of other zombies. And he's got even more zombies here. It looks like oh, he's getting man. a lot of guest zombies and he's submerged, which is a little unusual, but can happen every now and then. Yeah, D&D &D with a system. sub four minute ledge enter. 348 ledge. Insane pace by D&D. Wow. Oh man, we're going to see some fast runs here, I think. Will he break the world record today? I am curious. He is playing arguably one of the fastest classes, Shadow. It's just at level four. Does he have the frost bomb set up? I don't believe he has gone to town yet, so he's so might be an only explosive trap run for Dead and Doom. Taking a look at our other racers, Uber Elite. has just made it back to the submerged passes waypoint. He has killed Hellrake. So he should be surpassing Zai and Dawn, potentially, maybe even D&D. Zai is entering ledge at 436. Roughly a minute behind. He's going to be trying to take advantage, full advantage of that Quicksilver there, just blasting through these packs. Want to wait till you Quicksilver Ooh, gets a big dead end, though. Oh, yeah. I believe he might have gotten the super short layout. Little bit of uncertainty about which direction to take there makes it an executive decision. Decides to head south this way. Will he find the bridge soon? He needs to find it soon. Don the crown just past the is. ledgeway point. DD has also passed it. I believe Don the Crown's ledge was the first half shorter than DD's, and he might have wanted to reset at the waypoint. But we'll see in the second half whose ledge is longer. Zai also encountering the ledge. Waypoint. Pretty long first half though, so I would not expect him to reset. Yeah, I like that strategy though. If you oh, Don actually goes down to a pack there, gets caught in a pack. He's got goats in oh. his uh, ledge as well. Didn't see the actual pack he died to, but just gets stuck in the middle of a pack and just goes down real quick. It's like unexpected. See him shaking his head a little bit there. Definitely a bit of an upset for Don right there with the early death. Sometimes I can just sneak up on you like that instantly. Zai's also moving into a very rough position here with a massive shrine full of goats, full of skeletons. The shark ground picks up the shrine himself. Besides, maybe I'll get a couple kills here. Uh, didn't they throw too many traps though? Running. They are super clumped up for explosive drops. Surprised didn't throw anymore. Yeah, you could have thrown a few in there pretty easy. There's a bit of shark ground to help you out as well. But uh, maybe deciding the XP is not a priority for him. He just wants to get away from that massive pack. He did a good job to navigate through that very scary looking pack there. Exactly. Yeah, I believe Don the Crown died like right at the end of his ledge. That's very unfortunate there. Oh, he's got to rerun. Didn't have the waypoint as well, so I couldn't go back to the waypoint instead. Has to rerun the first part as well. Very rough. Definitely a big time penalty there, more so than just the one minute. Losing another 30 seconds or so to having to rerun that section. Indeed. So, interesting thing here. Uber just went down at the ledge waypoint for his Frost Bomb and Arcane Surge. Really late vendor here. Might not have yeah, the currency early on for the Arcane it. Surge. Wait, is I getting a unique gonna... gnarled branch in the middle of a climb <laughs> says, I'm not picking that up. Oh, uh, it's a... Uh, Isn't that 50% damage? And like life yeah, and mana? Yeah, actually pretty damn good. It's got life and mana and uh, damage on it. The trap support? Not that that helps it's much. probably better than two daggers giving roughly 60% crit chance. Yeah, I'd say so. Might have been actually worth picking up there. While we're looking at the other racers, D&D apparently dropped a Quicksilver. He's already progressed in lore <laughs> prison, 718 mark. He Does he have a chance to break the 830 world record? Probably not, but he might get the record for today. Yeah, he's I think he's on pace. He's potentially on track here to set a, a record for today. Would not be surprised if he reads the layout perfectly in lower prison. Oh, yeah. That's a fast run through there. 737 up prison enter. Insane. He was mousing over that Quicksilver. He's just like stunned. Stunned. Can't yeah, believe it. Rest of the players are just still in climb. They're just entering lower. Wow. So I think DD oh, wow. is trying to get some charges on this Quicksilver here before he levels up. Get a bit of min max here. See if he can do that. It's enfeeble yeah, on him. 
Runs yeah, is dead under Leon. Yep. Yeah. Drops a chest. Yeah. He drops his boots that he didn't, that he could have just thrown on for. Not sure why he dropped that. Hits that dead end. It's maybe a little frustrated about hitting that dead end there. No. Probably not breaking the world record today, but could yeah, set no, the day's record. Still, though, getting a quick silver drop. <laughs> oh, no. And after choosing to not run Tidal Island is exactly when you want to get that drop. Side running into a huge dead end in lower prison, off to take his vendor now. Gets an evasion out of the bear trap to make his fight a bit easier. Dindy looks like hey, he's read the layout, should be entering Bruce's chamber in, yeah, right there, five seconds from now. Uber and Don, they're still at the waypoint in lower prison. Had the work cut out for them. So doing a little bit of gem swapping around there into a two-link helmet that he picked up from the vendor. I just thought he was trying to ex get an extra socket for his bear trap, but yeah, he might have... Ah, oh, he wants to swap over to his wands for that extra spell damage instead of the crit. A little bit more consistent damage. Wands definitely are the superior strat in this race. 60 crit, you have no crit scaling. I believe it's only 5 base crit. Definitely would be a rough time. Or not yeah. the best strategy, I should say. Does not help a lot. <laughs> Then Doom moving in, he's got a chest armor lined up and ready to equip in the Brutus fight itself. He's got three small life loss, no medium or anything, but three is still a fair bit of extra life flask action, so pretty reasonable. 117 life. Uh, still a little bit of risk here, but Definitely. if he plays it well, which I'm sure he will, he'll have a nice clean kill. Hasn't dropped below 40 HP just out. It's 117 life, 31 ES. So how the bear trap to help him out? Manually evades. This kill looks to be it's going pretty good. safe though. Hasn't had a close call yet. Gets hooked in. Is able to walk back out? Ooh, a bit of teleportation Brutus by Brutus. <laughs> yeah, Brutus is actually decent himself. Brutus <laughs> not using lockstep. Very nice Brutus kill there. Looks like a 10.07 kill by D&D. &D. He's asking why his timer isn't stopping his hotkeys. Looks like he's got some global hotkeys and W split to fix that up. Looks like his uh, time is minus four hours and forty six <laughs> minutes. I, wow! No, no, I, I believe that. I can believe that too. You know, he, he, he just won. He time. won four hours ago, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a fast Brutus kill right there. Literally going back in time, almost five hours. Uber Ooh. leads on his Brutus kill now. <laughs> Looks to be going very well. He's got a pretty decent life title. Only two small life loss. Has a frost bomb and bear trap though. This should be a very easy kill for him. Yeah, he's got take damage in this fight. Slowing down Brutus and the increased damage taken from the bear trap. Very nice for our explosive trap set up here. And gets a very solid kill. 1103. Nice. Pretty happy with Indeed. It's a good time. Very good time. So he's on his way for the Brutus fight, and Don is getting a Bit lost, shaking his head a bit. It's like, oh man, I knew this layout. Does find the warden's chamber eventually. So he does he have his puncture? He does have his puncture. He has his iron rings. And does have his burning arrow. So he should have a decent kill here. Yeah, he might actually like have a chance got... to beat Zai, depending on Zai's DPS uptime here. Zai just have the bear trap though. Oh, he's got a bit of running to do. He's gonna have to move quick. Yeah, definitely have to move quick. Does not have move speed. Pick those racing lines through the warden's quarters. Sai is down to around. one small life flash, still healing from his current flash, barely healing up though, getting hit by the skellies. Brutus at 1 8th right now, 1 6th. Dodging the slam. He's out of life flash now. Lots of archers though, yeah. but refills Obst both of them off the skellies. Nicely yeah, done. Helps to go for the refill <laughs> for safety. 12 10 <laughs> levels at the same time he eats the slam. Nicely done. Zai TV. <laughs> Oh, Zai's got the ring wings on now when he throws his chest armor on. That's a nice looking wings. Oh, Don oh, no, getting a second death. Down, that was a mega punch. <laughs> oh, damn. Second death for Don. Not looking good for him. It's definitely going to hurt his overall time. You feel that across all three races since it's an average of the three. Ouch. Time for sure. Have to turn it up. Go Super Saiyan the next two, which I believe he definitely can do. He's been practicing hard. Oh, going a bit low again. Is to keep his composure here. It's pretty easy to lose that after uh, dying to some punches and a pack earlier on. Oof, ouch. 
Very hard time getting through the skeletons there, having to use the shrapnel shot to take down Brutus. And it's a down. 1306. Shaking his head. He's not so happy with that, but it's only one race. This is average of the three. Definitely could bring him back, but he's going to have to step it up. 1306 with two deaths, so that's unfortunately a 1506 time. Did we see how Raz's race was going in the background? I believe he I got a 1137, but we'll have to uh, review that later. Just double check. There's no shenanigans going on. <laughs> in putting hey, that time into the sheet. Any shenanigans from Raz. He's a trustworthy fellow. That is true. That is true. That gives Raz an average of 1142. Still third in his group. It's moving from fourth to third. At least he gets a fair running in and can put his times on the board properly, which is good to see. Definitely. Looks like we're going to be seeing one Ranger for Uber, Uber Elite, two Jewelers coming out for Zai and Mr. Acceleration trying this time around, and Don bringing out the Shadow. Moving from his Ranger to Shadow, possibly saving Jewelers for his final run. D and D opting to just play the uh, the meta skills, the meta classes early on. Do the shadow right away. Don accidentally moving at the start, logged back in. Just want to <laughs> get DQ'd. <laughs> Very ethical there. Nicely done. We could see something interesting for Dead and Doom's third run though, possibly. Maybe a uh, maybe a Marauder. I want to see the Templar. I know Waggle. Oh, did Waggle pull that Templar today? Actually, he did not. Waggle went to the Stranger Shadow. He was practicing Templar though. So yeah, we, we haven't seen any Templar Ranger. action. I, I would love to see a Templar. I feel like Templar is just like flexing on the opposition. And if anyone's going to do that, surely he didn't do him. Pull out Templar. Come on, mate. Don't let us down. Zai TV first off the mark. He is eager to go. Yeah, I believe he's starting one minute early here. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, little, that's slightly early, Zai. <laughs> definitely have a bit of grace period here, so we can accept that for now. <laughs> <laughs> Zai's getting the old running a full 15 seconds before the uh, 15 before the like race 60, gun goes but... off. <laughs> you can't you can't wait like you just you got that you got that nerves you got that adrenaline you got that excitement to go you're ready to, you're raring and you're ready to go trumping at the bit. Well, let's call him motivated, chat says. He's just extremely motivated to do all in this run. He wants the special <laughs> attention. Gets two wisdom scrolls at the start. See if there's any crazy vendoring here. So to really keep note of his time here. Chat's saying, yeah. oh my god, he's one minute ahead. Pog champ, he's so fast. No, he just started a minute early, guys. <laughs> time zones. Yeah, apparently his time zone was uh, one minute ahead. So. <laughs> one, one minute different time zone. It's interesting. <laughs> He's actually um, a 300 IQ strategy because he knows D and D is watching the stream apparently. So he's like going, starting early to uh, trick him. Ooh, we're trying to get under the other player's skins. Interesting, exactly. highly unethical tactics here. <laughs> hey man, you need every advantage you can get when you're facing as one of the best players in racing. Well, maybe he's just trying to throw us the cast as an extra bit of challenge. He's like, you guys you already can't blink. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Try and figure out who's ahead when <laughs> our timers are all different. So. Exactly. Don the Con getting a medium life last. D and D getting a coral amulet. Did Uber oh, get anything special? Amulet. It's a power amulet. Special. Oh, it was a power amulet. Oh, unlucky. Power amulet. Also to take it off. It looks like he's gonna vendor it for that Will wisdom scrap. It, saying, "Hey, Duelist is pretty good mana wise. I got this, no problem." But here's what I'm thinking though. He shouldn't have vended it. He had one extra wisdom scrap than he needed. That is true. We'll see if he runs into any mana issues later on. We'll see if that was indeed a mistake or not. Highly inefficient, I think, actually. Wa wasting that power amulet. Opportunity, though. Opportunity. <laughs> the power me. amulet <laughs> power spike. It's been lost. <laughs> the power spike. He lets out a gentle no in chat. <laughs> when he realizes his horrid, horrid mistake. It's definitely going to cost him. Exactly. Gets a red, red, green, rusted sword early on. We'll see if he opts for the Hellrick strategy now. I think he might. Those are the perfect colors for pushing ahead early, but he may have just practiced without it. So see what he does. 
All our players are going for mud flats first so far, at least for Uber Leet and Zai. Zai with the shrine, he can just run into every every little nest. Doesn't have to worry too much about getting destroyed. The regen shrine. With their plunging shrine should be able to easily out regen uh Uzbek Bloom's Degen Aura. Very nice. Trying to kick over those eggs, having a little bit of trouble getting there because a bunch of rowers in the way. Uber Leet actually picking up a coral amulet, the first player to do so. <laughs> oh yes. I'm always gonna hype when I see yes. that drop. Acceleration Shrine, Mudflats for Uber Elite as well. I think he's only got oh, one egg, man. so it's going to help. Shrines being somewhat of a factor in today's events. Very interesting. A couple, I think it was in at least at least two, maybe three Acceleration Shrines. Looks like he already had his eggs, so it just helped him with that run to the uh, Glyph Wall, but still saving him a little bit of time there. A few precious seconds. Definitely. So Zai actually started a minute early, yet Uber is in the exact same spot. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, that's that's what happens when you uh, try to jump the gun. Yeah, Zai running into Dead as well, actually getting some bad luck from his early start. Not working out. It's, right. He'll be made an example of for the other players. Exactly. Like, you guys start at the right time. This exactly. Will, this might happen to you. <laughs> Don the Crown is in the exact same spot, literally neck and neck, with Mr. Acceleration Shrine right now. Uber Elite, he is in Hel Tattle Island, Quinnicle Helric. Does he have his iron rings? Let's check that out. He has one iron ring so far. No player has boost speed boost just yet. Uber dropping a transmute. It's a big currency for Rhythms early on. Most likely gonna vendor it. He'll purchase some items. That's like that's like born into wealth silver spoon currency, that is at this point. Yeah. Does not pick up the blue crude bow. Oh, Acceleration Shrine. But he picked up Rare Boots. Passage for Don Ooh, the Crown. two Acceleration Shrines is one race. Don the Crown recognizing Dead End early on. Nicely done. Yeah, avoiding like the vast majority of that Dead End. That's a very good raid on that one. Ooh, but did he though? Still did. Oh, no. Oh, no, no he's running back. Don. Oh, he's going for it. It, it might have actually been Maybe the that right was way. the right way. That actually. Oh, no, it was a Dead End. Oh, no. Ooh, ouch. You can see him kind of like, ugh. <laughs> The facial expressions there. Throws a hand in the air like, ah, what can you do? <laughs> Reads the layout in the end. It was the middle path. Still use <laughs> the acceleration shrine to end. make up for the mystery there and catch up to two D and D in this run. So he's, gonna... not, he's not too far behind. D and D only just hitting ledge now. Don not too far behind, despite his uh, his little fumble there early on. Exactly. Had to stick with his gut feeling there. You know, he, Wait, does Uber have acceleration trying too? A second one? What? I did. I did not see. He did he really? just <laughs> got right another end, one. Man. Second acceleration shrine. But look at D and D. He's already in the lead. He's Uber needs to make it to ledge fast. Oh my god. The Uber That's does have the quicksilver and the onslaught though. though. That will help him out significantly. And taking a look at Zai. Zai picked up a transmute and an alchemy orb. Let's see what he decides to elk. D and D getting rushed oh, by big D and D dies. D and D down. D and D, 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 D down. <laughs> I'm tearing my hair out right now. He <laughs> throws a rip into chat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he's, go he's going really low again. 40 HP. Makes it out though. He's not happy about that one. Oh, he didn't even reach the like, waypoint. I saw all the pieces line up. That was beautiful. The acceleration totem. The big oh, champ. The goats. He gets stuck again. Well, he squeezes through oh, Uber Lead uh, on the other screen, getting an alchemy orb. His oh. eye skipping color ring. Only on two. A single iron ring right now. Probably buy a second one. Alex, the Jade corpse. Hatchet, though. Look at those rolls. 15 IPD, double flat Ellie, cold and lightning. Nicely done. <laughs> He's He's some happy. NMA. <laughs> inappropriate <laughs> NMA right now. <laughs> Feeling the pressure of his rip, Uber Elite opting to reset his ledge because he had a very short first half. Oh, I love that strategy. It's so cute, but I like it a lot. Oh, is that going really low to 30 HP? He has a blue goat around another shrine along with the wheelie boys. So <laughs> extremely careful here. He, he goes actually, back in for another swing. I can't believe it. Yeah, I think he, <laughs> he equipped. He equipped. I'm not sure if he equipped the, the evasion chest. Went for the swing and then unequipped it and walked away. Talking about min maxing wow. those defensive stats. <laughs> wow. Only have the evasion chest on as you go to take a hit. It's just like hot swap that as you see a monster about to hit you, then swap with a the whole minimizing that uh move speed penalty up time. <laughs> exactly. 
do have to keep in mind that Zai did start a minute early, so while he may love to be really far ahead, his timer is one also a minute ahead. Yeah, he 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 might not be. It's uh almost it's pretty difficult for us to judge. We'll have to see how things pan out at the end here. I believe D and D is the only player to die in this burst. No player has died yet. He was saying that he, he felt like the craziness of the shorter races could be the thing to dethrone him. One death is probably enough enough and not enough to do so though. We're gonna have to see some still some fantastic efforts from other races. But uh he can he can still pull out a pretty decent time even with that death penalty in terms of his average. With that first time being ten six. Whew. Definitely. So I with an eight ten prison enter. Not the not the best compared to what we've seen so far from the other racers. Um, he actually vendors the second Jade Hatch here because he does have the three link red on his offhand. Taking a long time to vendor here. He's just looking at everything, saying, "What am I gonna get?" A lot of indecision. Yeah, and he doesn't pick up a second gem here. He just needs one. He has the wisdom though to pick up another gem. He has six wisdoms. Did not pick the largest life flask either. Um, yeah, interesting. Bit of indecision in the vendor there and kind of missed some missed opportunities as a result. I think we are seeing him be punished here for jumping the gun. Yeah, the pressure is just getting to him. It's like it's that it's that first, you know, first racer pressure, you know, like when you're out ahead of the pack, it's you feel like all the eyes are on you, all the pressure's on. Take a look at our other racers, D and D. He's checking his first side of Lord Prison. Reaches a dead end though, but gets a big blue pack as a reward nonetheless. Jade Hatcher, large, man large mana flask. Just not pick up the jade. Down the ground, going very low, and the bottom of oh, 10 HP. Getting lightning rolled <laughs> away by a rare archer. Logs out because he reached dead end. He's not happy. He looks like he possibly even cursing a bit. Ooh. Enters back in lower prison. <laughs> He's making some faces. Zai is in the upper <laughs> prison. In the bottom right, enters a dead end right away. See if this gives him any tells on the layout. We'll find out in a moment. Taking a look at Mr. Acceleration Shine. He is still in lower prison. And Uber Lee is roughly the same spot, but he has found the exit. Looks like they both have the same layout, and we'll find the exit very shortly. Uh, don't worry. Chat's concerned that we're not not PG-13 stream. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure Don the Ryan was just letting out a few wholesome yikes. You know, it was just letting yeah, a few... Could have been just out. saying yikes over and over. We'll just assume that. Yeah, just, just really, yeah, just yikesing it up over there. <laughs> yikes, indeed. Taking a look at Don's gear. He is on two wands, one with 17% 17, 17 fire damage, and empowering. He has no other gear. That is indeed... A yikes! He definitely want a bit more than that. Um, <laughs> watch That's a heck of a right yeah. there. Yeah, just have a chain belt. Gets another dead end, which is done a plus one to the yikes counter. Oh, oh yeah. And yikes meter is just climbing ever higher for Don this run. It's just he's had everything against him this run. Oh man, every every possible dead end. The like Xai is entered the warden chambers You're halfway on. through. Eleven fourteen mark. We can expect a twelve-ish kill from here. It's like D and D entering a ten twelve. Uber Elite with roughly the same time, and Don, not too far behind us either. D&D &D does have plus one, he does have that one death in ledge. Yeah, Don, like, somehow, despite all those dead ends and all of the yikes, is uh, keeping up, he's keeping pace. Definitely, he's high with the first Brutus. Has the dual link, has the totem. That's only small life last though. Could possibly be a rip here, 140 Ooh, HP, yeah. 16 yes. Ooh, 26 HP! Ooh. He's up. His damage is good, but so is Brutus's. <laughs> yep. He gets hit again. DPS uptime looking very low. Totem doing work right now. He's out of flask. Oh, the totem is going for it. He's trying to heal some flask now. Might have overused his flask a bit. Other players are also starting yeah, to fight. Yeah. Every player is on the fight right now. Everyone's fighting. So he's stacking away. He has some flask. d, &D goes really low. Oh, my dagger 30 HP. Oh my god, d, &D. <laughs> Don also going really low. Does have medium life flask. Is able to attack. And Uber is just... I only have two eyeballs. Guys, Uber has please. not gone low yet. d, &D is out. On small life flask, Uber Elite with the very first kill, d, &D with the second kill. Dawn is still fighting. Actually, he might have missed his eyes. I'm not too sure where his kill was. Dawn is fighting away. Uber Elite having a very smooth and clean kill there. I don't didn't see Uber like, go low even once. I saw D and D, Dawn's eye all going low, all having trouble. Oh, it's like yeah. an easy clap for Uber uh, Elite. Oh, some flickering life balls right there. It's like Don's taking his time, playing a little bit safer here on his Brutus kill. Doesn't want to go down, does not want to experience a death here. Has no flask at all right now. No mana flask, no life flask. 
You might see him go for some skelly kills, maybe just trying to get them at the same time as Brutus possibly. Taking advantage of the freeze pulse a little bit to get some skellies down. There he goes, he gets some flash charges, buying him a bit more safety. It's definitely a, a bit of a slower and more cautious Brutus kill. Yeah, he just does not have much here at all. Only level 4, the lowest level play in the, in the race. Xyg reaching level 7, DND &D reaching level 5, and Uber reaching level 6. Ooh, Ooh. Don going really low. Sub 20 HP right there. Brutus is really low though, and he goes down. Gets it down, 12.30. So a bit of an eye roll there at the end. He wasn't super happy with how that went. Still well, very good. D&D's death bow was roughly the thing. same time. Taking a look at our updated averages. In the lead, you're still dead and doom with the 10.39. Sorry, 10.34 in second place. We have... Uber Elite, 11.08 in third, 12.09 for Zai, and then 13.44 for Don. Those deaths in the first run, man, just really getting to him. Looks like our times are still getting polished Ooh. off. Exactly. Adding Every, in up some updates. Adding in D&D's death to the first run, to the second run, sorry. Uber Elite actually takes first place. D&D's average time is 11.09, Uber's 11.08. One second lead for Uber Elite on the average time. Nicely done. This is the final burst here. It all comes down to this. Dandy might not be claiming first in his group. This is this will be a first. Ooh, I'm excited. We've got and we've got not to mention Uber Elite is running Duelist, possibly the strongest here. I think Marauder Uber has this. Uber just has to not die and just get a nice clean 11 minute. Kill or under, I think he has this. DD on the Marauder, arguably weaker than Duelist. Duelist, one of the meta classes. Donald's on the Duelist, and Zai on the Ranger. Looks like... gonna, it doesn't get it doesn't get much closer than them being one second apart in their averages, so it, it comes exactly. down one hundred percent to this race. <laughs> Take a look the at our Marauder times like in the previous two bursts. We had our fastest one was the 11.10 Marauder run by Nugi. Looks like 11.37, a 13.01, 11.31, Very interesting. Just comparing it to the Ranger right now, just wondering what is faster. Rangers have 11.14. This is with a 10.43. 11.20 from Vicar. Looks like Ranger is slightly faster, but we have a very small sample size right now. To compare for <laughs> yeah that's sample size indeed a little bit a little bit small perhaps really yeah tough to call i'm looking i'm looking at the spread across times across different classes and stuff and it's definitely not enough information to go off to call this one den doom's obviously ridiculously fast but uber been proving himself to be a bit of a racing god himself den doom accidentally moves a step to the right restart resets his position good on him highly ethical highly ethical <laughs> <laughs> Does not want to risk getting DQ'd for a small misplay like that. Looks like Zai will be starting on time this time. He's uh, he's ready. He's <laughs> looking at the news post, going, like, "Oh, okay." My time zone is not one minute ahead. Good on him. I do appreciate that. <laughs> as cast as a caster. Definitely makes it easier for now. Some people are saying, Zai, what are you waiting for? Go, go, go! No, please don't go. Please start on time. Zai, you're you're late. Quick, go and race. Looks like Uber Lee has changed his name to Stay Hydrated Bot for some reason. <laughs> oh, no. He's feeling Not thirsty. All right, very well. I'll drink some water. I, too, just took a sip of my coffee. Thank you, Uber, for the reminder. <laughs> Done getting an extra scroll of wisdom. So off the did Zai, though. Zai also got an extra scroll of wisdom. Ooh. Oh, my God. The RNG here. For the bottom half of the screen bottom right proving maybe not to be the unlock unluckiest slot anymore exactly let's see how that hillock rng goes everybody only getting their support gems from the large chest there as <laughs> as to be expected don don has a very very large that's impressive a big sword, sword. <laughs> that is a, big a sword very big sword <laughs> He washed up on the beach alongside a Just kept that weapon. sword. Xai getting an iron ring and a pearl scroll. Very nice. Oh, Dong picking up blue gloves. 
Zai getting the best RNG so far. Dan also picked Endoom's up. Endoom's pushing Hillock back with the heavy strike strats I was talking about before. Ooh, I think it's an iron ring in a medium mana. Nicely done. Very nice. Very nice beach RNG for pretty much everyone there. Yeah, everyone's uh, pretty rich. Zai leaving town with two iron rings. Nicely done. So that's a portal scroll. Maybe he's having to keep that for a bit of kiting later on. So one thing we've noticed uh, compared to our previous runs, we saw a lot of players early on doing a lot of window shopping, but everyone right now is just like, go, go, go. Possibly bam, bam, they know shopping. exactly what they want. This so early coast read will be very significant here. Looks like everyone's got at least one iron ring. Den Doom does have two though. He was able to pick up a second one. I'm sure it'll you, definitely up up a bad RNG though. I didn't get three iron rings. Come on, man. <laughs> We've only seen the, the three iron ring strategy once today. Don't know how much benefit that third iron ring gives you. Yeah, not too much. Um, maybe in the next expansion, we'll get some more ring slots or ammo slots. <laughs> I, I wouldn't complain about that, just saying. <laughs> I mean, there's 10 fingers there. Come on. The iron what amulet. About the how about that? Toe rings? What about some toe rings? No, yeah, why not? I am amulet. We can, yeah, we're going to equip 20 rings. I mean, you got like five fingers, <laughs> ten, 10 fingers, you know, potentially. <laughs> if you haven't lost any in a, in a way to the beach. <laughs> yeah. I mean, never know. Hillock, Hillock can, he's a pretty nasty dude. You might slice one off. Maybe that's why we only have uh, two rings. That's the lore behind it. <laughs> We've only got two fingers. Poor exiles. Uh oh. We've been through the wars. Zai so opening up the help menu, getting some quick <laughs> tips on no. the way. That's always good, you know, just to get a little bit of guidance. You never know what you could learn from a split help menu glance. Well, Zai and Stay Hydrated Bot picking up the uh, Quicksilver Flask from Tidal Island. The Donna Crown and Acceleration Shrine. <laughs> Optimum go straight for Submerged Passage. We'll see if D&D AK Acceleration Shrine goes to the coast right now. It does not skip the waypoint. Pushes on ahead. Only has a ground stun set up right now. Should have a dual strike though, or double strike, sorry, in, uh, in his inventory. Yeah, he won't need that until Brutus anyway, so not too big a deal. You just hot swap that out. He will have at least one town though, in case he does not have it to pick up his totem. Looks like Uber Elite's picked up his second nine ring and has also picked up a nice looking rustic sash there. So he's looking he's looking pretty good, in pretty good position. I yeah. want to try and find a weapon, hopefully. Maybe you could uh, compile some styles later on. See out of the Hellrake versus no Hellrake, who has the better average time? I'm very Yeah, it's a, it's a really tough one to call because it's like a pretty significant detour, but like got a lot of gear on the it, way. still seem to be very close. Like the yeah. time difference seems very small between the two. One has got to be better than the other, surely, but it also might be a contextual choice depending on, you know, what kind of happens with your character. Good Gun has some really kind of like finer points of play as to yeah. whether you go for that or not. Yeah, it could just be like, hey, if you get a three link or you get this early on, then you definitely, you know, swap to Brutus. Or not Brutus, sorry. You swap to uh, Hellrake. You definitely want to kill Brutus in, Hel in a Brutus race, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill Hellrick instead of Brutus. Brutus. <laughs> kill Hellrick Longhart. Time's done, guys. I won. I won, right? <laughs> I'm done. First Hellrick. Hellrick burst raises. <laughs> Players will be 100% sure explaining with RNG in that. I'll be able to. I'll be able to wake up at 5:30 in the morning to cast those Hellrick burst races, <laughs> and I'll be able to get to sleep at 5:32 in the morning. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Make, <laughs> make that next week's plan. Very short casting session. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like Donna Crown is actually in the lead right now. Um, MTX proving to help him out there. Just past oh, Kaduku. Yeah, just gone past Kaduku and didn't do him. Did he only just enter ledge? Oh, he's been on ledge for 10 or 20 seconds, so I don't believe he's past the waypoint yet. It's roughly the same spot as Zai time. and oh. Mr. Stay Hydrated Bot. I got a better idea. How about Hillock Burst Races? Best of 10. <laughs> uh, can't use the same class. Can't use the same skills. Best of 10, <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Best of 10. 
<laughs> the last few races come down to default attacks on the Scion, probably. Is default attack skill? <laughs> yeah, no, default attack is fine. Default attack is okay. exempt. I can use default attack. All I right. did see Dead and Doom craft some boots. Didn't see if they got move speed. Uh, life and cold rest. No, not quite the move speed. Not what he was looking for. No move speed from anyone. Seeing double iron rings from everyone except Don, who has a second coral ring instead. 141 HP brand. Ooh, Dean Ingle really low. 20 HP, 12 HP. Gets the level up in the end, though. Oh. Hits level 5. Lots of he currencies, though. Armor scrap, pearl scroll, transmute. Yeah, he needs oh, to. Oh, rich boy over here. Yeah, he is definitely is a rich boy. Mm -hmm. But Don the Counter, he's beasting head right now. This is going to be a sub 7 lower prison entry for Don. Nicely done. Definitely making up for his uh, earlier times. Yeah, Don defying expectations from He's a first, full first zone first ahead of D&D, Zai, and Stay Hydrated Bot right now. <laughs> and Stay Hydrated Bot. Oh, man. His names. <laughs> yeah, Don is just beasting it. He's going back to town here. Wonder what you'll be picking up his uh, totem, doing a little bit of other shopping. Hopefully he gets through this nice and quick. No window shopping. No time for window shopping. He uses the search tool on his vendor there. Looking for a copper sword, most likely. Almost unequips his rusted sword, though. Has to be a bit careful there. Does not <laughs> want to drop it. Gets the trial early on, so we'll see if he reads this correctly. He just has to go south with the exit. He's not killing much, and he not, does not have Anza. He just wants to make it to the fight. Has to kill a bit, though, since some skellies are blocking him. Because he can't move, but... <laughs> the other way. He can't move, man. Can't well, he pick up the chain the belt. Skellies. Picks up the chain belt, has a jade hatchet. It might push for... No, it does not opt to push for six. Very interesting. Is he, he plays uh, not about to hit six right now anyway? Just hit five. Oh, that's five, okay. And he enters oh, upper prison. At the same time, D&D &D enters lower. Still a full zone ahead. D&D &D most likely going to vendor here. Look at the currency for D&D &D, though. He is rich, just like you mentioned earlier. <laughs> Let's see what he uses that uh, those investments for. Oh, look at that logout on the waypoint click. <sighs> he logged out a second too early. Oh, he's 11 wisdoms. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be race ending. <laughs> oh my, d and <laughs> not happy. That. He had an IPD, I believe, Jade Hatchet for a whetstone, and he just vended a whetstone for wisdoms. Oh, no, he vended it first. Oh no. Zai just ripped in the bottom right in climb. He has a long walk. He was right at the very end. He just passed oh, Nivali. No. I believe he died of some wheelie bros. Oh, it's not, not too much ground he has to recover, but definitely the death penalty is going to cost him there for sure. Oh, he's stuck again. He might die again. He's stuck. He can't move. Oh, oh he oh. ends up moving in the end, though. <laughs> Took a risk taking that little tiny passage through there, getting caught by the goats and the boss. <laughs> wow. It's a little scary right Completes there. Completes the walk of shame and enters lower prison, 841. <laughs> Still has time to salvage the run. This is a very Not close a race time. right now. Uber is currently the fastest average time. D&D &D in second, but Don the Crown taking an early lead. Just flying. D Definitely Don is on a melee character. He's going to enter Brutus at the 9 minute mark. He might get a 9-ish nine nine kill. Our melee kills have been very fast today. He had some real, real bad RNG. And this might be the record for today. This gets back. Every second himself. matters here for Don. He might not win the group. We can still get the top eight time. He's only a small life last on 80 HP. Let's be really careful here. Brutus is at 50%. Oh, 20 HP. Do not die, Don. Do oh, not die. So you long. cannot die at all. Pop a second small life flask. Mm. His totem is doing work right now. Letting the totem do work. Once his HP goes back to full, he's going for some deeps. Gets it once, gets again. Oh, 40 HP. Has to be extremely careful here. Cutting he's circles. No floss. Yeah. He <laughs> does have cleave, though. He can cleave away. I think he wants to stand behind his totem. Cleaves a bit. Oh, got some damage there. He just needs to attack. You can get sub 10 minutes done. You can do this. I think. Oh, sub 10 is he going to go for it? Is he going to go for it? He might just go for it. No. Go for it, man. No. Oh, he it. gets it. He gets it. Oh, he the gets first it. sub 10 minute kill for oh, today. Man. I think it was the 949. So I'm going to double check he that later gives on. Gives himself a round of applause. Well deserved. Sub 10 minute Well deserved. That's how fast his run today. Don. Dude. That was insane. So insane. close at the oh, end. Man. Oh, my goodness. Major claps for me for going for that kill right there with no HP. Just <laughs> just crossing those fingers and running in. I loved it. He was that playing at fire, man. He was in melee range for, since a second or two earlier there. I was so worried he was about to go down, but he pulls it off in the end. Nicely done by Don the Crown. Coming up next, we do have Mr. Acceler Acceleration Train, aka D&D, 1025, about to start Brutus. Uber lead, still in upper prison, looking for the entrance. Same with Zai TV. d and is dual striking away. With a tooling, goes down to 20 HP though. Has seven medium super life flask. Super low. Has a bit of evasion gear. The ES helmet. And looks like a very easy kill. 
1041. Ooh, it's a real yeah. boarding tube. It's longer to run. Pops ID anyways. 46 IPD7 attack speed. <laughs> he types an XD in chat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's a that's a nice boarding axe. It definitely is. Damn. Uber going a bit <laughs> low to some mobs, wasting a bit of his flask on the way. Let's have a three link red jade hatchet. Let's see what he just set up for his links here. He's got a medium life flask and a half to go into the fire with. Uh, it could be enough. Should be enough. He's got either decent decent chest armor ready to go. Double iron rings. Jane Hatchet, pretty set. I don't think we've had any players really get a weapon with damage on it in any of these races. They've all just had white copper swords or white Jane Hatchets or rusted yeah. swords. Sometimes <laughs> we had a blue weapon, but most of the time it has not uh, made a difference. So Xai is deciding between using his short bow or his tool and crude bow. I believe he's off for the short bow strategy. Making a bit early to the Brutus fight in comparison to Uber. We're going really low though. Oh, just I really low. He's down on two small life flasks. Ooh, Teleports a bit. Trying. Let's be careful. Just have the AOE clear to rebuild this flask when Uber just TPSing. Oh, this guy's on eight HP. <laughs> oh, man. He is out of floss. He gets the kill, though. Gets the kill, though. He did it die end, one man. time in climb. It's a yeah, 13 yeah, minute Brutus. Right. Uber, I believe, was deathless. 1151. Let's get our updated averages right now. I'm very curious oh, to yeah. see who won. So oh yeah, this is gonna quick be crazy. maths. Done with the record setting time, but is it enough to bring his average down? Let's have yeah, a look. Yeah, he did have that unfortunate double death in the first run. So it looks Oof. like that is way too close. That can't be true, right? Uber with 1108 average. Dead of Doom with 1109 <laughs> average. Uber wins what? by one second. Wins the group by one second. <laughs> what? <laughs> is it? Is that right? Can that DD right? spamming Uber is wrong. We're definitely gonna be watching all three bursts for both players. I mean told the spreadsheet is wrong. Yeah, we need it. we definitely need to double check on this. That's too close. It's like we have the updated numbers. Chat is spamming really hard. Looks like the formulas were a bit off, unfortunately, in the spreadsheet. Sorry for the false alarm, fucks. It's like our math was not quick enough, unfortunately. It's like D&D <laughs> actually does claim the first prize in the group with 11 minutes. Nice round time of 11 minutes. Very good average in the end. And that's, and that's with a death. It gets the 11 minute, which is... Looking like the fastest time so far. <laughs> the fastest average so far. With a dev. Crazy. Very nicely done. Uber, 11.22. Not too far behind. Don the crown. 12.26. Tying Zai with this world record. Or record setting run for today. Yeah, Don get his record second run of 9.49 for his uh, jewels kill there. Insane. Tie tying for uh, third place. Wow. Actual tie. Looks like uh, we should not be doing the quick maths and should be opting we'll, for the slow maths for the future runs yes. just to make sure. We will, prom we will promise to wait till the numbers are fully updated. We're just getting a little excited, guys. Come on, let's see the numbers in there. We're getting a little bit hyped. <laughs> Looks like someone entered a wrong time earlier into one of the previous ones. I believe they entered 1141 instead of 1041, which is the issue. Everything is fixed now. Oh, my mistake, Ventura actually having the fastest average at 10.37, I forgot he had insane runs. So Ventura actually beating our Dead and Doom for our first in the averages right now. Nicely done. Let's take, so we have followed by D&D with 11 minutes, and Ziz is in third with 11.06, with Uber in fourth, 11.22. Because so Rise's time will be updated in a moment. We have Jamza scurrying away in the background, trying to update our, <laughs> our graphics. So give him a moment, guys. Let him breathe. Jamza's working hard. Okay. Calm down, guys. Calm down. With slow math is good math. As slow math today. is good math. Better get it right the first time. <laughs> yes, Linda. You see how it happened when we rushed, right? We said Uber won by a second. That would change everything. <laughs> Don't breathe. Just update it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jamza, you can breathe. You can ignore the chat. You got this. That's John Donald's in the chat. Take your time. We'll get it right and we'll get these accurate numbers in. We actually need them with how close these are. Yeah. 
see if D and D would want a quick interview for the start of the next race. He is in in the Discord already. We had an over. I believe we are heading over. I'll meet you there. All right, Ziggy will be joining me in the interview room in a moment, and there he is. We're pulling in Mr. D and D. Dead and Doom. Congratulations on another first place finish in the group stage. 11 minute. Second best average for today. Thank you. Opening thoughts on your runs. You did have one death. Did that uh, uh, tilt you at all? Or were you able to yeah, keep it that, that ledge that was super tilting. I don't think I've ever died to ledge in ledge. So uh, <laughs> it's also like way worse than dying to Brutus because you actually have to run back to where you were. Yeah. I was tilting for sure, but um, I'm pretty happy with my Shadow and my Marauder runs through Central Fan. Interesting. Very, very nice uh, effort from the Marauder there, 1041, actually faster than, well, <laughs> it was the death on the Duelist that made the difference, I guess, but uh, very nice stuff. I, I did enjoy that death, I, I will say. I, I, I love your efforts. We weren't the, uh, expecting stars it. aligned for that death, but yeah, it was pretty unexpected. The yeah. shrine with the big champ pack. <laughs> yeah, there was a frenzy on uh, when allies die or something blue pack as well, so they were super fast. <laughs> um, brutal. Yeah, you got some of the kills there, and that was enough to, <laughs> to get them to kill you. Uh, I never got a miss or an acceleration shrine, so that's pretty unlucky. You know? Yeah, Uber had two acceleration shrines in the last race, or one of the races, yeah, I believe. Oh, he was a ranger run. He had two acceleration shrines. Yeah. That's why I lost him by like. Even if I didn't die. Oh no, I actually beat him if I went to bed. You did beat him. Okay. This is a typo in the spectrum earlier on. Yeah. Do you think the uh, naming yourself acceleration shrine kind of warded them away and worked against you there? Yeah, it looks like it. I'm not going to do that for the next uh, set of events. <laughs> What's your name for the next, next set of events? What are you yeah, thinking? I don't know yet. <laughs> what to say, I think guess. About it. <laughs> I, I have a question about uh, what do you think about Quicksilver strategy? Because we're seeing some players go for it, other players not. Um, sometimes it depends on class, but even people playing the same class and the same strategy are sometimes not going it, sometimes go. So, what do you think? I really haven't tested it enough to know for sure, but Ventra did a lot more practice than me and he's in doing Quicksilver, so I just copied him. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it seems like the, there's only seconds in it, maybe, and it's uh, really been really tough to call. Like what's actually better between the two. So, yeah, pretty yeah, tough. Sure. Probably needs a lot of testing, that one. Okay, before we let you go, d, &D I need to ask you the uh, the famous question. Rate your RNG for those three runs. <laughs> um, the first one was better than average. The second one was definitely bad. And the third one was uh, slightly over average, I'd say, as well. No, oh, not 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 bad RNG for all three of them. That's good. That's good. Could have been worse for sure. Could have been worse. That's good to know. <laughs> Next team. Okay. Good races today. Thanks again, DD, for joining us. Uh, and thank you for organizing this again. Yeah, no problem. And uh, we'll see you in the next round tomorrow. All right, Ziggy and I will be taking a short intermission here before the next event in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. See you guys soon.